Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigval Grim here and welcome to yet another video. Today we're going to have another uh, subscriber submitted video. This is going to be, uh, this looks normal, right? But we're going to have EPI SD damage dealer over here. This is from uh, uh, McGillcutty. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong, so I'm sorry if I did, but thank you so much for submitting. Links to his channel will be in the description in the pinned comments. And the thing in this fight in particular is the fact that uh, there's something just to mobile that usually doesn't really matter that much, but over here it will come into play, which is a class advantage. Some classes have advantages against others, and if you do have a class advantage, you'll deal 20% more damage, I think that was the value, and uh, receive 20% less damage. And uh, the meta human class has advantage over the tech class, and over here there's going to be an EPI used as a damage dealer. So let's take a look at this. The dude is also going to show us the builds. So this API is built a little bit more towards the tanky side of things. Also the damage dealing side of things. And it's a mixed build. Not sure if this survives a super move against Gorilla Grod. Though maybe the man has multiple gears. And has armor pierce on basic attacks. Not, not maxed out yet, but it's there. And uh, this is going to be uh, the Raven. It's going to be uh, a pretty high star rating. Is, is that a 5 or a 6 star Raven? And this is going to be the Joker. And he's there just to boost the entire team with uh, the passive. Because he's got a, a passive that boosts the dot damage. That's a 5 star Raven. So not a 6 star Raven. So that's not maximum potential yet. Also the artifacts are far from being maxed out. So... This, this is not going to be inflated that much by Raven being in there and by the artifacts. So let's see how this one goes. Okay, so far not great, but yet again there's no dot from EPI yet. No, no stacks from Raven, excuse me. Raven in there, gonna do her thing, gonna stack. One stack, two stacks. Getting in there, getting some power for third, EPI in there just for the power generation mainly. And even at this pace, even at the two stacks from Raven side damage, this would have been a one shot. A fourth stacks, let's go. Oh boy, he's melting. There could be some weird scaling with the class advantage also, either even passive, but oh boy, is this guy melting. Okay, let's see how it goes at 5 stacks. Ah, uh, that's uh, that tagging didn't work. But yeah, it's going great. This this fight ended up pretty quick. And this is, uh, I think, Heroic 2 Cyborg? Or Heroic 3 Cyborg? Something like that. Yeah, that, that's, that's a lot of damage pretty quick, considering that this Cyborg had a maxed amount of... Uh, uh, defense and the CPI didn't have max armor pierce, so some of the hits were not bypassing the armor. Let's take a look at this on slow motion here. Again, I, I like to I like to take a closer look at the damages. Ah, we seem better, but still, twelve million. That's something, that's that's definitely something to look forward to. And you need to keep in mind that she's got uh, that thing after, uh, on the second tap where she does multiple hits, far more than the Joker does. Like the second hit that she does, does one, two, three, four, nah, just three, just three hits. She does three hits on her second tap. So that's also something to keep in mind. But yeah, yet again, thank you so much for watching. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this. And make sure you do check out um, my boy McGillicati. Again, most likely butcher that. I'm sorry and thank you so much for the video. Loving said, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.